So dear kids, let's see here second stanza on sour cream walls, donations, Shakespeare head, cloudless at dawns, civilized dome, riding all cities, belled flurry, trials valley, open handed map, awarding the word its word. And yet for these children, these window, not this map, the world, where all their future painted with a fog. A narrow street sealed in with a lead sky, far, far from the rivers, capes and the stars of the worlds. So this is your second stanza. So dear kids, the words and the meanings are written here. You can take the screenshot. These are the word and the meanings related to the second stanza. Let's see, first one is sour cream. So sour cream is presenting here the unpleasant color of the walls, right? Second is dawn. Dawn is the time of early morning. It is dusk and dawn. So dawn is what? Early morning and dusk is, is what? Late evening. So civilized doom. Here rising sun at the horizon. Civilized doom that is presenting a picture of rising sun at the horizon. And sealed means shut and locked. Capes is a large piece of land that sticks out of the uh, of the sea, right? So that is called capes. Next is Trials Valley. That is a flowery valley in Austria. Seventh is lead sky. Lead sky is dark sky. And the eighth one is things received on uh, charity that is what donations right so this is these are the words so let's see and understand the first meaning of this uh, stanza number two on sour cream walls donation now in the second stanza the poet uh, Stephen Spander he is describing the situation of the classroom in the first stanza he described the uh, you know about the students of the of the class but here he is telling he is describing that class is of what kind right how the slum children uh, are studying they are in that dirty classroom so see on the sour cream walls sour cream is what that when the cream we keep out of uh, uh, fridge for some time so that uh, started giving smell right so that is what sour cream so unpleasant dirty this is actually representing the dirty color of the creamish dirty color of the uh, walls of the classroom right donations right so this he is telling the donations which the because the uh, room that was uh, that the school is using as classroom that was prepared that was uh, you know the construction was done with the donation money and because that donation is not coming or that has been used in any other way so these these walls are not painted for long back right so that's why the color of the walls of that room are sour shakespeare head now ahead he is uh, in this uh, stanza he is telling that how this room has been decorated actually this is not decorated but whatever is being used there uh, you know to just hide the patches and the dirty uh, dirty walls of the room so that is what he is telling one in the first line he is telling that that room was prepared with the donations but the color of the walls that is now dirty one that is uh, looking like the dirty sour cream now and uh, the Shakespeare head a famous poet and uh, author you may say so poet, his head is also means a picture is there right which is having Shakespeare head cloudless at dawn the second picture is also there which is cloudless at dawn so dawn means what that i have told you dawn is the early morning time so that picture is also there which is telling which is showing or which is having the scene of the early morning right now keep on looking these pictures and the donations what are being used here because these are actually the contrast because the, stu the study which type of study that is going on there so that is not at all helping these donations and pictures and all that this is not helping the students so first thing is what Shakespeare head but the students 
of that slum area they do not know about uh, the about this famous poet shakespeare right so that is useless for them next is cloudless at dawn means uh, they have a very fresh morning in their in their room the picture is there so that is representing a very fresh morning but how the uh, morning of the slum children can be cloudless at dawn right that is foggy that is dirty because the sky is dark over there because the uh, the slum area that is covered with what that is covered with uh, garbage every time right and civilized dome civilized dome what me here means that means he hearing the ri rising uh, horizon or that is uh, you know that is surrounded by the beautiful uh, buildings beautiful long tall buildings so that is this riding all the cities means where the slum area is the slum area is surrounded by the buildings but they are not able to uh you know enjoy the beauty they are not enjoying the facility to live in such such tall buildings they are here and this is uh you know the garbage area this is the slum area so they are not enjoying this beauty of uh, this these uh, civilized domes means the beautiful concrete buildings so they are not enjoying that now Belled Flory Trials Valley. There is one picture. There is one painting of a big Trials Valley. This Trials Valley, word number six, is there. It is a Flory Valley in Austria. So this is what. This is again. This is uh, this is once again. Uh, you know, this valley is full of fragrant flowers. But what is the condition of the slum that remains? Uh, you know uh, that is having the deposits of uh, uh, garbage every time so what here the styles valley is full of fragrant flowers but these children they will never experience the beauty of the styles valley as they cannot experience the beauty of the uh, sky at dawn so they are not able to experience the beauty of this trial valley they are deprived of the beauty and uh, they are uh, you know they are condemned to live in the slum area so this is what he want to say here and yet for these children these windows not this map the world where all their future painted with the fog now he is telling here there's one more uh, map is also there right a map is also there uh, in this classroom and the word is uh, actually confined into this narrow dirty and the dusty streets of the slum right this map which is uh, which is uh, there in the classroom that is giving them motivation that is giving them hope to explore the world but they are never able to see uh, that world they are beyond the beyond their reach means in a way that map or the pictures whatever are there they are beyond their reach they cannot uh, they cannot or they will never experience such beautiful scenes or uh, beautiful buildings beautiful toys valley and uh, uh, many more things which are there right so here the poet is actually creating a uh, you know creating a scene that they are living a monotonous life throughout their uh, life they have to live in the dirty and the filthy and the narrow streets which are full of the garbage they are away from the uh, glory of the natural beauty of uh, uh, the rivers of the you know you can say the civilized dooms the buildings and uh, the beauty of nature so this he wanted to say here in second stanza so i hope you understood the meaning of this second stanza where this poet is telling that whatever the uh, the classroom is made by the donations and the pictures which are there they are of no use for the slum children because thus they are creating the contrast in the life of the pictures and their own life which they have to live in the slum area now if we'll talk about the poetic devices of this 
stanza so before that i want you to just take the screenshot of these word meanings so that you can note down them in your notebook and then we will discuss the poetic devices used in this stanza so here dear kids when we talk about the poetic device or the literary figures we have used here so first one in the first line here on the sour cream walls as i told you while i told you the meanings of uh, uh, these uh, word meanings so sour cream i told you the meaning of sour is what sour is what that is unpleasant right and here the walls are because not uh, properly uh, painted so that uh, is why the color is unpleasant right so sour cream walls is having two literary devices here one is pun and second is metaphor when we talk about uh, uh, sour uh, uh, walls here so one when we talk about the literal meaning of this so here this uh, is what the neglected walls which are not painted which are not taken care right and when we talk about the figurative meaning of this so these are the dismal uh, place right these walls are the dismal place which are not having any uh, color or the beauty with that and the second one the sour cream walls these the color of the cream uh, walls and the color of the sour cream is being compared right and there is no word like and as means the comparison of the sour cream and the comparison of the wall are being done here so that is why this is metaphor 2 i hope you understand first one is pun sour sour the literal meaning of that is neglected right neglected walls and the second one the figurative meaning is a dismal place and second one is comparison is being done between the sour cream and the walls of that classroom so that is why that is uh, this is metaphor right second when we talk about toils valley toils valley a beautiful flowery valley in austria as i told you in in the explanation so this toils valley is allusion here so what is this allusion i hope you understood you have watched the videos of poetic devices too if you have missed please watch because in poetry section your literary devices or poetic devices are very important right you will get the questions of at least 2 to 3 marks um, of these poetic devices it may be of 4 marks so poet toils valley when we are referring a place or a person which is actually there or it may be a, a character in the uh fan uh, in the you know tales in the fantasies also so when we are referring someone it may be a place it may be a person so that is known as allusion so it is a place in australia and we are giving giving the reference of that place here so this is what allusion a double l u s i o n next is civilized doom riding now civilized doom is what the big buildings right now used here see what is the word used here civilized doom riding all cities but riding is the quality of whom that is of the quality of the person but here he is telling civilized doom riding all the cities so this a uh, civilized doom ha has been given the quality of the person so this is what this is personification here if we talk about lead sky so lead sky is also having two figurative uh, literary figures here number one is metaphor right that their sky the the students who are living in slum areas their sky is uh, the color of their sky is lead means dark right gloomy so their comparison of the sky is being done with the lead that is dark so that is metaphor and we are not using any word like like and as that's why it is metaphor and second is one second is what uh, that is pun when we talk about the literary meaning of this that is which is not open right and uh, which is not giving which is not uh, Uh, which is not giving the opportunities which is not opening the opportunities for the slum kids and when we talk about the figurative meaning of this that means polluted sky right so that's why it is used as pun 
stars of the world stars of the world is metaphor here now stars of the world is uh, what the literature written right with uh, by the famous poets like shakespeare and all that so that is stars of the world means that is not uh, actually having any uh, importance to that is not giving any the slum children are not giving any importance to that because the standard of their education whatever they are getting that is not up to the mark like other children they are getting a well uh, education but here they are the standard is down right so here future painted with fog their future is painted with fog means uh, their future and uh, is being compared with fog which is not clear right so this is once again what metaphor here comparison between future is being done by fog street sealed street sealed is what street sealed is alliteration because here street and sealed that is uh, s word is be s letter is being repeated that is a consonant sound and that is repeated at the starting of the words next is far far from this we have done earlier too so when we talk about far far from this far far from this is alliteration f sound that is consonant that is repeated in the these words and far far is repetition so these were the uh, poetic devices used in the second stanza i hope you understood the explanation of this part and uh, i advise you to write down this poetic devices along with the explanation what you are listening there so that you will be able to uh, you know revise that in your future and please prepare this is very important poem for the point of view of your examination thank you very much stay safe stay healthy we will see the explanation of third and fourth stanza in our next video